that was lovely Thaimo. Thank you. But you know, uh, as you were telling me that you actually recorded this song where when uh, Fareedhi Mazhar was on the road and then this whole episode of Malala and, and you know this entire atmosphere of violence and intolerance. What is the mood um, right now, you know, amongst the young people, amongst the progressive general mood of Pakistan if you could see I think uh, you know Malala's uh, uh, the, the shooting, the attempted assassination uh, of Malala was a watershed mm -hmm. in Pakistan's struggle against extremism. Uh, because for the first time in since 2008, when this situation escalated after the Lal Masjid and after Betullah Masood decided that the TTP would attack Pakistan, etc., this was the first time that you saw, and despite all the sort of carnage that they carried out and the atrocities that they carried out. This was the first time that the entire country, almost as a whole, uh, you know, said, uh, with the exception of the extreme uh, right-wing, ultra-right-wing fringe, the, the entire rest of the spectrum of Pakistan said that this is completely unacceptable and we stand opposed to it. It wasn't merely the case that this was something that was officially being sort of said or promoted or whatever uh, by the government or by the state media or whatever. It was a spontaneous reaction to this incident where, you know, school children, uh, schools, etc., started praying for her recovery and started, you know, and uh, you know, people started uh, uh, talking yeah, about. That's not how they reacted to Salman Tasseem. No, right? exa that's yeah. exactly what I was yeah. sort of going to come to, which is Shabazz Bhatti was ass assassinated, Salman Tasseem was assassinated, um, <clears throat> and in both these instances, we did not see this level mm -hmm. of sort of uh, public condemnation. But the, uh, the difference with Malala and Salman Tasir, etc., or, or Shahbaz Bhatti or others was that in this incident, the very children of Pakistan were stirred to action. You know, and you know that something is really taking root in people's heart. When you know a five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-olds come out and say, you know, she's our hero and we don't want this to happen, that shows the sort of impact an incident has on you know, uh, you know, uh, ordinary political issues. Don't reach such young people, but this was an issue which reached. Everybody. So do you think this this would be a this would be a path breaking point? It for, is. It is absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is. It is the key point I think mm -hmm. from where you see in my uh, uh, my own view in this regard. You know, many, many progressives are of the view that the only way you can fight against religious extremism is in the court of public opinion. You have to, in in, in all in all mm -hmm. politics or in all you know confronting all forms of fascism, you have to win in the court of public opinion. It's not enough to sort of say you're going to do, the, the government is going to do this action against them and law and order and so on and so forth. Fair enough, that is important and very, very important and people who sort of say don't do that, I strongly criticize and disagree with them. But that is still, that's one aspect of it. The more important aspect is to that uh, society uh, is in society and that society is in society. And that society is in society when public opinion says this is absolutely unacceptable to us, we don't want this anymore. Then the public bec becomes its own enforcer of its own values and says, you know, put it. And so I think, you know, in that sense, uh, this outcry against Malala Yousafzai's um, attempted assassination is, is, is going to prove uh, in the long run to be the point at which the scales tip in favor of a more progressive Pakistan. And so I'm just, because we're out of time also, just to end with the, the usual question, but still a very important and crucial and question we need to ask eight times. So, so would you think that this is also a watershed uh, moment for Indo populations? Could it be? Absolutely, because I mean the uh, the impetus towards war mongering and uh, and you know the, the hawkish sort of uh, influence in Pakistan has been the ultra right. Mm -hmm. um, it is my view, um, though it could be a mistaken one. That the uh, the uh, the uh, the atrocious uh, and uh, you know vile attacks in Mumbai uh, carried out uh, uh, on uh, 26/11 uh, were orchestrated by uh, you know these ultra right wing sort of uh, forces. So the defeat of this ultra right wing uh, uh, you know within Pakistani society uh, and hopefully also let's say uh, you know whatever form, in whatever form it exists within India. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's 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 defeat on both sides of the border will cement the way for you know um, uh, peace in South Asia.